Okay, good morning, everyone, and welcome to our second lecture for the subject differential equation. And for today, we will be discussing a new topic uh, concerning the natin natin arbitrary constant and how it how is it important when we are dealing with families of curves and solution to differential equations. Okay, so as our outline for today's lecture, uh, we will be introducing the arbitrary constant, and we will tackle also. How can we eliminate them? And then right after that, we will apply it to families of curves. What is this families of curves? What we are trying to explain when we are trying, uh, when we are discussing this. And lastly is to solve solution of differential equations. So we will try to prove if a given function is indeed part or a solution for the differential equation stated. That's a problem natin. And our learning outcomes for this lecture are, are as follows. Number one is to discuss the relationship of the differential equation to its corresponding function. Uh, next is to find the differential equation for an indicated solution. To obtain the differential equation for a family of curves under certain parameter. And last is to determine which function satisfy the differential equation. I say we need to test you know, if a certain given function will indeed satisfy the differential equation stated on the problem okay so let's start so we start off with defining kung ano ba natin arbitrary constant by definition arbitrary constant is a constant whose value would could be assumed to be anything no so si arbitrary constant hindi na to bago sa inyo na experience niyo to especially sa integral formula no sa integration sa integral calculus so ito yung ilalagay natin kapag nag integrate tayo ng uh, indefinite integral, no? So, lagi, dapat may plus C. No? Yung plus C na yun, yun yung arbitrary constant natin. Okay? So, it, it can assume any value dun sa, ano natin, sa equation natin. Um, pero hindi lang siya laging uh, as, ano, no? As, as a term na nilalagay natin sa hulihan, minsan present din siya as coefficient sa isang term ng function natin. Okay? And for this session, we need to know how to eliminate yung arbitrary constant natin. Pero why do we need to study this section? So this section daw is important in order to know one of the several methods in arriving at a differential equation. Kasi madami nga tayong, uh, madami tayong ways on how to get the differential equation. And one way of doing that is by eliminating yung arbitrary constant natin. And we can do that by uh, trying to remove it. So, how can we remove it? We can remove it, or the rule for eliminating arbitrary constant natin is for us to differentiate yung given function depending kung how many times yung number of constant present do sa equation natin. Okay? So, uh, let's see dito sa mga following examples natin. We have the first one, y squared is equal to 4ax. Ilan or alin dyan yung ating arbitrary constant? Yung, yung 4a po. So, yung uh, more specifically, yung a lang. No? Kasi constant lang yung pinag-usapan natin. Si 4 is coefficient na siya. Actually, si 4a is coefficient siya ni x. Pero ang arbitrary constant lang sa kanya is si, si a lang. No? So, ibig sabihin, kung when we try to eliminate si a dito sa function na to, we just need to differentiate yung ating function once. Okay? Next, we have y is equal to cx plus c. So, how many ang kanyang arbitrary constant? Dalawa po ba, sir? Dalawang c. Okay. So, at, uh, at present, dalawa yung nakalagay sa kanya. So, Pero we can actually manipulate it or factor out yung C natin as X plus 1. So you will see na isa lang talaga yung arbitrary constant natin sa kanya. Okay? So we just need to differentiate yung given function natin once in order to get yung ating differential equation. Okay? Next, we have an equation for circle at, at center at origin. We have X squared plus Y squared is equal to R squared. So how many ang kanyang arbitrary constant? Okay. 
Hello. Y- yung R squared, sir. Okay, so one lang no yung R squared. Okay, so correct yung R squared, yung ating arbitrary constant. So we just need to perform once or differentiate it once para ma-arrive daw tayo sa differential equation. And lastly, we have an equation, of, a quadratic equation. Y is equal to AX squared plus BX plus C. So how many arbitrary constant we have? Tatlo po. Tatlo po. Tatlo po. Okay, so we have Dalo. C. No? So A, B, and C. Ibig sabihin, tatlong beses natin siya kailangan i-differentiate. Okay? So, yung mga next example natin, o let's, next slide, uh, papakita natin ngayon kung paano siya pinaprefer. Hindi naman pwedeng sabi-sabi lang. No? Kailangan, pakita natin sa actual. Okay? So, let's try to solve the following examples. So, we have eliminate the arbitrary constant of the given equation. Y squared is equal to 4AX. So, yun yung first given natin sa previous slide. So, again, ang arbitrary constant natin is yung letter A. No? Ito yung ating arbitrary constant. And kung ilan yung arbitrary constant natin, yun yung times kung ilan beses natin siyang i-derive. No? So, dito, we will be using differentiation. And lalagay ko dito sa tabi yung gagamitin natin formula. Yung first, ang formula ang gagamitin natin is yung derivative ng power. So, Y is equal to x raised to n. Pag dinerive daw natin yan, ang derivative niyan is y prime is equal to x n n minus 1 times yung derivative nung x natin. Okay? So, parang review na din yan kung paano natin ina-apply yan. So, let's try to solve ito. No? So, y squared is equal to 4ax. Eliminate natin si a. Okay? So, since isa lang yung arbitrary constant, i-derive lang natin siya ng 1 time. Okay? So dito, kapag nagda-derive tayo ng function, ang in, uh, ang uh, ang laging ina-assume natin na independent variable natin is alin. Sino ang al alin? Alin variable ang independent? X sir. Yung X si X, no? Kaya pag nagda-derive tayo ng X, nagiging hindi natin kino-consider yung variable. Okay? So dito, Implicit differentiation yung gagawin natin. Ibig sabihin, sasabay natin i-differentiate si parehas na variable, si y at si x. Pero, ang independent variable natin ay si x lang. Okay? So, pag dinerive natin to, this will be 2y, 2 minus 1. Okay? And then, ang derivative ng y ay dy, pero naka-interm siya ng x. Okay? Then next, dito yung coefficient natin, 4a. Times dito may imaginary siyang 1. So 1. X. 1 minus 1. And then derivative ng X natin is DX over DX. Okay? Then simplify natin. This will be 2Y. And then anong ibang form ng DY DX? That is also equal to Y prime. Okay? So 2Y Y prime is equal to uh, itong X. 1 minus 1 will be X raised to 0. Any number raised to 0 ay equal sa 1. So, 4a times 1 is 4a times 1 is 4a. Then, kung kita natin dito, dx over dx, so same siya, this should be also equal to 1. Kaya siya naging equal to 4a lang. Okay? And then, divide natin both side by 4 para ma-isolate si a. So, a natin is equal to, or itong 1 half y, y prime. Okay? So, kung meron na tayong value for a, hindi pa din natin siya na-eliminate. No? Kailangan natin mawala si a dun sa function natin. So, pwede natin gawin is to substitute it back dun sa original equation natin. So, y squared is equal to 4ax. No? So, y squared is equal to 4 times 1 half y, y prime x. So, y squared is equal to 2 y, y prime x. And then, both sides of the equation, may, may pwede cancel yung y. No? So, magigitong y is equal to 2xy prime. O pwede natin ibalik si y prime as ano, dx over, uh, dy over dx. And pwede natin cross multiply. This will be y dx is equal to 2x dy. Okay? And si differential equation, meron siyang general form na m xy dx plus n xy 
dy is equals to 0. So, ibig sabihin, any function in terms of x and y, basta dx yung kasama niya, plus yung second term niya, any, any function na may x and y, medyo delay pala. Yan, x and y, plus dy yung kasama niya, equals to 0. Okay? So, dito sa final natin value dito, sa nasa baba, okay, ito nasa baba natin, we have y dx is equals to 2x dy. So, to simplify that, we can actually uh, say na it would be y dx minus 2x dy is equals to 0. And that will be our answer or differential equation for the given function. So, makikita ninyo yung pinaka-final answer natin wala na siyang arbitrary constant and siya ay naka-differential equation form na. So, na-eliminate natin yung arbitrary constant by performing derivative. So, ayan. So, yan po yung solution natin for the first one. So, question. May question po. Hello? Wala naman po, sir. Pasko. Okay, how about the others? Mamaya, maiwan tayo. Pag di kayo nagsalita, no? Sir, another example po. Ayan. Meron mo tayo, siyempre. <laughs> no? So, dito muna sa example na to. Okay naman, nasundan. Okay? Wala din kasi, nag kasi nag-react, no? Yeah, thanks. Okay? So, yun lang naman yung interaction lang yung kailangan ko, no? Okay, next. Let's try this one. Eliminate daw natin yung arbitrary constant. So we have a quadratic equation. We have how many arbitrary constant? Three. Okay, so we have one, two, and three. Okay? So yung arbitrary constant natin ay three. So ibig sabihin, tatlong beses tayong magdi-derivative dun sa function natin. Okay? So dito, magagamit lang naman natin is... Ano bang mga derivative formula yung pwede natin magamit? So, yung derivative ng constant, no? Ang derivative ng constant ay always equal to zero. And ang derivative ng power, which is yung kanina din, no? xn minus 1 dx. Okay? So, let's try. So, we have y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. So, let's perform the first derivative. y prime is equal to a times 2, x2 minus 1 times dx over dx ulit yun. So, 1 na lang lalagay ko, no? Plus b times 1, x1 minus 1 times 1 plus 0. Okay? Medyo delay lang yung ating internet. Okay? So, next, simplify lang natin. This will be 2ax plus b, tapos x raised to 0, uh, this will be 1. So, that will be equal to b. So, ito yung first derivative natin. Okay? Next, second derivative natin, y double prime is equal to 2a times 1, x1 minus 1 times 1 plus 0, para dun sa constant natin. Okay? Then, y double prime is equal to 2a, this will be equal to 1 also. So, 2a na lang yung second derivative natin. Okay? And performing the third derivative, we have y triple prime is equal to 0. So, as you can see, our final answer will be equal to 0. And makikita ninyo, wala na siyang arbitrary constant or free from arbitrary constant na yung final answer natin. So, kung hindi, yung, hindi ganito yung form niya, it could be t d three y over d x cube equals to zero. Okay. Pero yan yung magiging answer natin for this problem. Question. Wala na po. Okay. So okay naman ano? Madali pa. Okay, so let's try the second one, uh, the third one. 
okay? So we have y is equal to c1 e negative x plus c2 e negative 2x plus x. So, yeah. So, ilan arbitrary constant natin? Two po. Okay, we have two which are yung ating c1 and c2. Okay? So, dito gagamit natin formula for differentiation formula is uh, yung una is yung sa power pa din, ano? So, uh, dapat batak na batak mo talaga tayo dito sa power formula na to, no? Then, sa second one is yung ating exponential. Ang kanyang, uh, lagay na natin e u na lang, no? So, ang kanyang derivative is e u d u. Kung ano yung derivative ng kanyang exponent. Okay? So, let's try. So, since dalawa yan, we need to perform the derivative twice. So, c1 e negative x plus c2 e negative 2x plus x. Okay? Performing the first one. So, we have c1, then e negative x, that will be e negative x, then derivative ng negative x is negative 1 plus c2, then e negative 2x, derivative ng negative 2x is negative 2 plus one, okay. So, medyo nag uh, so shortcut na tayo ng ano ha, pag sa power plus one lang yan yung sa x, no? So simplify lang natin. Y prime is equal to c one, uh, negative c one, then minus two c two e negative two x plus one. Okay. So ito yung first um, first derivative natin ta. Perform natin second derivative, y double prime is equal to negative c1 times negative e negative x times negative 1 minus 2 c2 e negative 2x times negative 2. Then 0 na yung magiging uh, ano nung constant natin. Wala na yun. Hindi na kasama yun. Okay? Simplify. We have c1 e negative x plus 4 c2 e negative 2x. Okay? This is our second derivative. Pero ang papasin ninyo sa second derivative, meron pa din siyang arbitrary constant. So, what we can do is to eliminate yung ating arbitrary constant using yung mga formulas natin at hand. No? So, ano may mga formulas na meron tayo? Meron tayo ng original formula, pwede natin siya tawagin as first equation. Pwede natin yung second equation, yung first derivative. And then third equation yung ating uh, yung ating second derivative, no? So once na ano yan, meron tayong uh, three unknowns at three equations, okay? Ang unknowns natin is yung C1 and C2, no? So we can use elimination method to identify for the value of C2 or C1 or to eliminate yung C1 at C2. So, paano gagawin natin yun? So, pwedeng consider natin by by pair muna, no? So, let's say try natin si um, si equation 1 and equation 2. Okay? So, makikita natin equation equation 2. So, y is equal to c1 e negative x plus c2 e negative 2x plus x. And then, si, si, si second equation na ito, no? So, y prime equals to negative c1 e negative x minus 2c2 e negative 2x plus 1. So, pwede yung pagtapit-tapitin nyo lang yung magka magkakatulad, no? Ayan. Papansin ninyo, pag pinag-add natin siya, yung equation na yan, ano mangyayari? Yung ating c1, magka-cancel out. Kasi ito positive, pag ma-minus to. Okay? So, pag pinerform natin yan, this will be, uh, adjust lang natin ng konti, pataas, no? So, this is y plus y prime is equals to, this will be 0. Then, 1c2 minus negative c2, that is negative c2e negative 2x plus x plus 1. So, this will be our, tawagin natin siyang fourth equation. Excuse po. Yes. Sir, delay po. Alain, alain? Nag-delay nag po, sir, yung, yung sinashare screen niyo po sa, yung sabi niyo po. Okay, wait lang. Po, sir, I, thank you po. Try kong i-reshare, no? 
So again, dito ang ginawa natin sa si equation 1 and equation 2, we try to add them to the together, yung sa sum up natin. No? So and yung makukuha natin is y y prime is equals to 0 minus c2e2x plus x plus 1. Okay? So tatawagin natin yung fourth equation. Next is uh, gamitin naman natin uh, another pair. So try natin si equation 2 and equation 3. Okay? So si equation 2 is again y is equals to rewrite ko lang no? c1 e negative x minus 2, uh, 2c2 e negative 2x plus 1 ito ay y prime no? so ito lang yan no? nire-write ko lang dito and then si sige magiging ko lang yung kulay nitong natin yan no? no? kasi baka malito ko yun sa 1 and 2 ng na kulay blue So next is yung ating third equation, y double prime is equals to c1 e negative x plus 4c2 e negative 2x. Okay? So makikita ninyo yung uh, itong c1, no? pwede ulit siya mag-cancel out. So pag pinag-add natin siya. Okay? So this is y prime plus y double prime is equals to 2c2 e negative 2x plus 1. Okay? So, tawagin natin ito equation number 5. Okay? Then, using yung dalawang equation, 4 and 5. Okay? So, y plus y prime is equal to negative c2 e negative 2x plus x plus 1. Tapos yung 5 natin na uh, y prime plus y double prime. So, kinakopya ko lang naman kaya okay lang medyo delay. No? Para lang sa internet yung problema. Okay. Kinakopya ko pa lang naman yan. So, para ma-eliminate si second term, may, yung, may C2 natin, kailangan maging equal to zero. No? So, kailangan yung first term, yung first equation natin, yung equation 4, pwede natin siyang i-multiply by 2. No? Para pag na-multiply na siya ng 2, Pag pinag-add natin, it will be zero na. Okay? So, let's try to move it to another slide. No? Para hindi tayo crowded. Ayan. So, dito, ayan. So, ito yung ating equation. So, gagawin natin, i-multiply natin by 2. Ito. So that will be 2y plus 2y prime is equals to negative 2c2 in negative 2x plus 2x plus 2. Okay? Then copy ko lang yung nasa ilalim niya. Habang nagkakay tayo matapos yung medyo delay. So, papansin ninyo, pwede nang mag-cancel out yung gitna. No? Pag pinag-add natin siya, magiging ano natin dito is y double prime plus 3y prime plus 2y is equals to, cancel out yon so 2x plus 3. Okay? So, yung nag-arrive nating answer, uh, kung papansin ninyo, is free na siya ng arbitrary constant. Therefore, yung answer natin is y double prime plus 3y prime plus 2y is equals to 2x plus 3. This will be our differential equation for the given uh, solution or function na y is equals to c1 e x e negative x c2 e negative 2x plus x. Okay? Question tayo.
Okay, okay tayo. So, yung again, yung pinner form natin is elimination method, no? So, there are actually several solutions na pwedeng i-perform. Pwede din siyang uh, pwede kang mag-substitution if doon kayo mas nadadalian or pwede din by matrix. Pero I, uh, I think si matrix hindi pa siya nadidiscuss sa inyo kasi hindi pa kayo nag advance math, no? Uh, kaya hindi ko na muna nadidiscuss yung advance, yung sa matrix, no? Kasi that is a different matter. Pero ito, dapat sa algebra, kahit pa paano yung elimination method, na-discuss na ninyo. Okay? Question? Or reaction? Wala po, sir. Okay, yes, uh, Mr. Celis. Sir, tuwing kailan po mag magkailangan yung gamitin yung magta-times po sa to, sir? Uh, pag ano, nag-times po tayo dito, kasi nakita natin na kapag hindi natin siya times to, may matitira pa, ting, pa din si 2. Eh, wala na tayong pagkukunan ng equation. Ano? So, para ma-eliminate yung may C2, kasi kailangan natin eliminate yung constant, kailangan maging zero yung number niya. So, para maging zero yun, kung positive 2 to, then negative 1 to, kailangan maging negative 2 ito para pag pinag-minus mo sila, zero yung magiging answer. No? So, para ma-eliminate siya. Kaya makikita nyo dito, uh, dito nawala na siya dito, no? Sa baba na. Tinopin na lang yung 2x plus 1. So, sige, baka na din ito, no? Ayan, itapat natin dito. Ayan. Okay? Ganyan po yung nangyari sa kanya. Okay? Okay? Alright? Now, we proceed sa tatawag nating families of curves. No? Uh, basically, the same concept siya. Uh, so, i-pertain lang natin siya sa families of curves. And when an equation involves a parameter, ang tawag na sa kanya is family of curves. Ang definition niya are set of curves whose equation are of the same form but which have different values assigned to one or, para one or more parameters in the equation. Ibig sabihin, set of uh, curves siya na nagsasatisfy ng same formula pero mayroon silang distinct or the same uh, parameter, one or two parameters na sinusunod. Ang illustration nito, like for example ito, no? straight lines na passing through the origin. Daw, no? Ano ba ang formula ng line? If anyone could remember. Ano ang formula ng line? Equation ng line natin. Y is equals to mx plus b, sir. Okay, so y is equals to mx plus b is one formula, no? Pero si line actually madami siyang form, meron siyang ito yung slope form natin na uh, formula. Meron tayong point slope form, meron two point slope form, no? Pero dito pwede natin gamitin to. So ito yung general formula natin for line, no? So tama yung sagot, no? Anong ibig sabihin ng b? Yung m alam natin yan yung slope. Ano yung B? Yung B is? Y-intercept ba, sir? Yes, Y-intercept siya. So, ibig sabihin, any values along Y, no? Pero dito, sa families of curves, sabi niya, lahat daw ng straight lines na passing through the origin. Ano bang condition kapag origin yung pinag-uusapan? Anong coordinate ang origin natin? Anong point ang origin? 0, 0. Okay. 0, 0 siya. No? Kung 0, 0 siya, kailangan yung y-intercept niya, ito, di ba, x and y yan, x tsaka y, yung y-intercept niya ay 0. So, ibig sabihin dapat 0 to. Kaya mapapansin niyo dito, y is equal to mx plus 0. Makikita niyo dito sa general equation, naging y is equal to mx lang siya. Okay? So, doon na kukuha yung general equation niya. So, ibig sabihin, itong mismo equation na to, nire-represent na niya yung figure o yung drawing ng 
line na nagpapasto sa origin, kahit anong itsura niya, basta nagpasto sa origin, yun yung kanyang equation. Okay? So ito, ito yung mga families of curves na tinatawag natin. Families of line na passing through the same condition. Okay? So in sa mga problem, no, hindi binibigay yung equation na ito. No? Yung mga equation na yan, hindi yung binibigay. Statement lang ang binibigay, actually. So, you have to be familiar dun sa mga formulas natin. Formula ng line, formula ng circle, parabola, ellipse, hyperbola. No? Yung mga ginagamit natin in analytic geometry na equations, dapat aware tayo. Dun. Okay? So, another illustration. So, limbawa, straight lines through the fixed point, HK for HK not to be eliminated. So, ibig sabihin, naka-fix si HK. So, again, an anong another form ng ating, uh, ng ating equation ng line? If given ang isang point at slope, tinatawag natin, point-slope form. No? Ang formula niya is y minus y sub 1 is equal to m times x minus x sub 1. Okay? So, yan yung formula niya. Ngayon, sabi niya may fixed point tayo na uh, h at k. No? Yung fixed point niya yan, yan po yung ating x sub 1 at y sub 1. So, pag sinubstitute natin yan dito, that is y minus k is equal to m x minus h. Okay? Mapapansin ninyo, itong equation na to Ayun na yun, yung general equation natin. Okay? So, they are passing the same point, HK, no? Kaya ito na yung pinaka-general equation natin. So, meaning, any line na idudraw mo, basta mag-pass through siya dun sa HK natin, is included dun sa mga families of curves na sinasatisfy itong general equation na to. Pero general equation pa lang to, ha? hindi pa ito yung differential equation. Kasi later on, pag meron na tayong mga general equation, i-eliminate natin yung arbitrary constant niya para makuha natin yung differential equation niya. Okay? Another uh, illustration niya, limbawa, circles with centers at origin. Anong equation ng circle kapag hindi siya at origin? may nakakaalala ko. Ano ang equation ng circle? Standard equation ng circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Ano yung h at k dito? Ano yan? Siya yung radius measures. Uh, no, ang radius natin is yung R. Yung HK natin actually is yung ating center. center. Okay? Yung or coordinate ng ating center. Okay? Ngayon, pag sinabing circles with center at origin, no? si origin na naman, so ibig sabihin at 0, 0 yung center natin. So ibig sabihin dito, Ang condition natin, ang center natin ay 0, 0. Kaya papansin ninyo, dito, pag ginamit natin yung formula, that will be x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared is equal to r squared. Simplify, we have x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. Okay? So, this is the same as this one. Okay? Again, yung formula lang yan is hindi given kapag families of curves ang pinag-uusapan. So, we have to be familiar with it. And kailangan, kaya natin i-interpret yung kanyang uh, condition. Nandito ang condition niya, dapat center at origin. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, any circle, basta ang center niya nandun. So, pwedeng maging kung gano'ng kalaki. No? Pwedeng malaking malaki. Or pwedeng maliit na maliit. Basta as long as yung center niya is at the origin. So, yun yung mga families of curves o families of circle na pwede natin 
uh, ma-observe uh, that in our families of hers. Okay? So, question before we proceed sa problem pertaining families of curves. Po, sir. Okay. So, first one. Sabi, obtain the differential equation of the family of circles having their center on the x-axis. So, circle yung pinag-usapan natin. So, automatic, dapat ang standard equation. Tanda na natin agad, no? Yeah. Yan yung equation natin agad. And ang condition niya, kailangan center on x-axis siya. So, ano ba itsura niyan pag dinuro natin sa Cartesian plane? So, center daw niya is nasa x-axis. Dapat yung itsura niya is circles na no? nasa x-axis lang siya. So, no matter kung how big it is or how small it is, as long as nandun siya sa x-axis. No? Assume nyo na lang na pare-paras ng, uh, ng center yan. Ano? Nasa x-axis lahat. Okay? So, yan yung mga families of curves na tinukukoy natin. Na families of circle na sinasatisfy niya. So, anong, anong ibig sabihin? Anong meron kapag ang center natin is at x-axis? Anong meron dun sa center natin? Anong value ng hk natin? Kapag x-axis... Zero po yung k. Okay, correct. No? Ibig sabihin... 0 yung k o 0 yung y kasi nga lahat lang nasa x lang siya so lahat ng ano natin k values natin ay nasa 0 okay so yun yung condition natin for this one so kailangan i-apply mo lang siya do sa equation so x minus h squared plus y minus 0 squared is equal to r squared simplify natin that is x minus h squared plus y squared is equal to r squared so, ito ngayon yung ating tinatawag na general equation. No? And kailangan natin yung differential equation. So, ilan ang arbitrary constant natin sa general equation natin? Dalawa po ba? Okay. So, dalawa. No? So, we have yung H as our first one and yung R as our second one. Ibig sabihin, yan yung nagbabago ang values. Kasi nga, yung H natin, pwede siyang anywhere dito sa X natin. And si R, pwede siyang kahit gaano kalaki. No? Kasi di ba si, si radius natin is pertaining dito sa uh, distance niya from the circumference mula papunta doon sa center natin. So, nagbabago siya. Kaya nga siya arbitrary. Okay? So, so yun yung pa-perform natin ng derivative, no? So, yung first, itong equation natin to, i-ano ko lang, no? Uh, i-expand ko lang. Pwede natin sabihin na x squared minus 2xh plus h squared. Yan. Okay? Plus y squared is equal to r squared. Then, perform natin derivative. We have 2x minus 2h plus 0 plus 2y, y prime is equal to 0. Lahat ba nakahabol kung bakit naging ganon? Narulit nga po. Okay. So, pag kung may ganong comment, ulitin natin sa uh, ano? so, 2x2 minus 1 times 1 minus 2h1 x1 minus 1 times 1 plus 0 yung h squared plus 2 uh, y 2 minus 1 times dy over dx is equal to 0. Okay? Pag sinimplify, that is 2x minus, this will be equal to 1. So, magiging siya negative 2h. Then ito magiging plus 2y. And ito, di ba sabi natin pag dy dx, that is y prime. So, 2y, y prime is equal to 0. Okay. 
Nag derivative lang tayo ng power. Okay? Then lahat ng ano natin divisible by 2, pwede natin divide both side by 2, no? Divide natin by 2 or times natin ng 1 half. Same lang yan. This can be x minus h plus y y prime is equals to 0. So first derivative pa lang yan. Pwede pa natin siya derive ulit, no? Pero ang papansin natin pag nag-derive ulit tayo, ano tong anong meron dito? Derivative siya ng ano? derivative ng anong formula derivative ng product okay anong formula ng derivative ng product y is equals to u times v halimbawa yung ating variable so yung y prime is equals to u times v prime plus v times u prime okay yan yung formula natin so dito, ito naman magigilang siyang 1, x1 minus 1 times 1, minus 0. And then yung second one natin, yan na yung mangyayari dito. So ilet natin na si u is equals kay y and v is equals to y prime. So kunin mo lang yung value ng u prime, that is y prime. Kunin mo lang yung value ng v prime, that is y double prime. Okay? As apply mo lang yung formula na ito. No, yung formula lang yan dito. Apply mo lang yan. That will be uv prime. So, kung ano yung value ng u, plus v prime is y double prime, plus v u prime. So, v natin is y prime, times u prime is y prime. Okay? Again, yung formula is u v prime plus v u prime. Okay? Para hindi nahihirapan, ganito po yung ginagawa ko for derivative ng prata. Ano, Pinaghihiwalay ko na muna yung derivative niya and then pinagsasama ko na lang using yung formula. Kaya ganito po yung nangyari dito. Okay? Then we simplify. Dito yung itong, ito magiging 1 na lang yan kasi x raised to 0. That will be 1 minus, so ito will be y y double prime plus y prime squared is equals to zero kasi pareha siyang y prime. No? So pag in-arrange lang natin siya, our final answer should be, uh, this should be positive pala. Okay? So it will be y, y double prime plus y prime squared plus one is equals to zero. So makikita ninyo yung final answer mo is free of arbitrary constant na and siya ay differential equation na na may order na ilan ang order niya? Anong order ng differential natin? Imot na agad. Anong order? Order. Anong order? Order at degree. Limot na ang order at degree. One week pa lang. Sarang order. Order ay? Ito po. Ito po. Ito po. Two ang order and then ang degree natin ay one. Okay? So, ayan. Yan yung differential equation natin for this problem. Okay? Question? Sir, sa two na yung plus one. Plus 1. Dito. Yung sa derivative ng x. Sir. Yes. Pwede po pwede pong paulit mula dun sa ano sa may baba nung ano nung pong naka y prime naka equals pa lang siya sa 0 pero di pa siya yung penala sir. Medyo nakakalito po kasi. Ito. Ah, po, mula, mula po dyan sa baba. Okay. So Okay, gawin natin sa second page, ha? Copy ko lang. Okay, so ito yung ano natin, no? So ito yung kailangan natin, ito yung first derivative natin nakuha, no? Since first derivative pa lang yan, kailangan i-derive pa natin ulit, okay? And ang mga derivative natin mapapansin, 
Ito constant to, kaya magiging zero lang yan. So yung mga formula ng differentiation na kailangan natin is ang una, yung y is equals to constant, ang derivative niya na is zero. Pangalwa, ang y is equals to power, o yung power formula natin, xn minus 1 dx. And then pangatlo, ito may product ka na ng uh, variable tsaka ng derivative niya. Kaya, kailangan mo ng derivative ng product which is equals to uv prime plus v u prime. Okay? So, yan. Perform natin yung derivative. Yung unang term, derivative niya is uh, power formula lang. So, meron siyang 1 na exponent. So, 1. x1 minus 1 times yung derivative ng x is 1. So, yan yung first derivative natin para dun sa first term. Okay? Next, derivative ng negative h. Since that is a constant, zero yun. Okay? Plus, derivative nitong ating, uh, ng ating product, no? Pero pwede natin ilet na si u is equals kay y and si v ay equals kay y prime. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung u, u v natin, ano? u times v natin. Kunin mo lang yung derivative niyan. So, derivative ng u prime, derivative ng y is y prime. Derivative ng y prime ay y double prime. Okay? Then, follow mo lang yung formula ng product. So, u v prime plus v u prime. So, kung ano yung value ng u, kakapin mo lang u mo ay y, v prime mo ay y double prime, plus v mo is y prime, tapos u prime mo ay y prime din. Again, yung formula is u v prime plus v u prime, which is galing dito yan. Okay? Then simplify. We have 1. 1 times x raised to 0 ay equals kay 1. No? So parang 1 times 1 times 1 na lang yan. So 1 plus ito 0 na yan. So hindi mo nakakapi yan. So ito y y double prime plus yung y prime since dalawa yan gagawin mo lang y prime squared is equals to zero tapos inarrange ko lang by order since ang order natin is, is mas, mada, mas malaki yung order natin no? na dalawa plus one is equals to zero this is our answer okay thank you sir So, again, please practice your differential calculus. Okay? Alright. So, next problem tayo. First one pa lang to, no? Sa families of curves. Okay. Next. Obtain the differential equation of the family of lines passing through negative 1 and 1. Okay? So, family of lines. No? Yun agad yung key term mo doon. Family, family of lines. So, pinag-usapan. So, kung line, tapos meron kang point na consider, ang gamitin mong equation ng line is yung point slope form. No? Which is yung sabi nga natin kanina na y minus y sub 1 is equal to m times x minus x sub 1. Okay? For in yung point natin, equals kay negative 1, 1. Okay? So, ano ba yung kinukonsider nating line? So, gusto lang natin ipakita no, kung ano yung kinukonsider nating line. So, negative 1, 1 is ito. No? Yung point na yan. So, ibig sabihin, any line na magpa-pass through dyan sa point, sa point na yan, yun yung gusto nating makuha ang equation. Yan. Assume nyo na lang na uh, nagpa-pass through lahat yan dun sa same point, no? Yan. Yan yung families of lines na kailangan natin ikunin ng differential equation. So, kung yan yung kailangan nating line, so, sa substitute lang natin yung value ng x sub 1 tsaka y sub 1 dun sa equation ng line natin. So, that this will be y minus 1 is equals to m x minus minus 1. Don't forget. Okay? So, simplify. Y minus 1 is equals to M. X plus 1. 
And then ito yung magiging general equation mo. Okay? And ilan ang arbitrary constant natin? Ito lang po. Okay? So we will der derive yung equation natin once lang. Okay? So pwede natin distribute yung m para maging mx plus n and then tsaka natin i-derive, no? So si y pag dinerive natin si y that will be y prime. So si si 1 that will be 0. Si mx that will be m. So m1 x1 minus 1 times 1 plus 0. Okay? So y prime is equal to this will be equal to 1 na lang din. So 1 times 1 times 1, so m lang yan. So yun ang kuha natin. m is equal to y prime which is according to our discussion last week Yung slope is always equal to sa first derivative natin. So, same yan. No? So, yan. So, may value tayo na kuha kay M. Anong gagawin natin? Walik tayo dun sa general equation natin. Okay? So, general equation. So, Y minus 1 is equal to M natin. Gagawin natin Y prime. X plus 1. So, gusto ko lang ilipat yung X plus 1. Halimbawa, no? Or, i-change natin si y prime, so dy dx. No? So y minus 1, so dy over dx times x plus 1. So cross multiply, that will be 1. y1, y minus 1 dx is equal to x plus 1 dy. Then again, so follow lang natin yung format. So y minus 1 dx minus x plus 1 dy is equal to 0. Kung papansin ninyo, yung equation nyo is free from arbitrary constant na. So, this will be our differential equation for the family of lines passing through the set point. Okay? Question? Wala po, sir. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Last example for families of curves. So, obtain the differential equation having the solution as the equation representing all circles of radius 1. So, meron tayong families of circle, no? Of radius 1. Pero yung center daw niya ay nasa line na y is equals to x. Okay? So, uh, sulat lang muna natin. Meron tayong radius of a circle. So, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Meron tayong radius ng 1, so alam natin na yung r squared natin na equal sa 1. Okay? So, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared. So, again, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to 1. So, hindi pwede yung general equation natin. Kasi meron pa siyang isang binigay na parameter. Na yung center daw niya dapat is nasa y is equals to x. So ano ba ano bang itsura ng y is equals to x na na line? No? Kapag si x daw ay 1, 1 din daw si y. Pag si x ay pi halimbawa, uh, bawa 2 na lang pala. Sino malaki? 2 din si y. Pag negative 1 si x, negative din daw si y, no? So ibig sabihin yung y is equals to x ang graph niya is actually ganito. No? So kung i-consider natin ay circle na passing through dyan, na may, yan, na may radius na 1, anong merong condition dun sa, uh, sa, sa center ng circle natin, sa HK natin? Anong mapapansin nyo? Kung dadaan siya dito sa Y equals X, anong value nung HK? Magiging pareho po sila ng value, sir. Correct. So, they are equal. Okay? Kasi kung ito yung mga circle natin, pare-pareha siya ng radius. So, pare-pareha siyang um, ng size, no? Bawa ito yung circle natin. Okay? So, kung pare-pareha siya ng size, no? Nag-iiba lang siya ng location. Pero yung location niya, Dapat the same, no? 
kung saan yung x-axis niya, doon din yung y-axis niya. Kasi nga, sinusundan niya yung mismong ano natin, line natin. So, ibig sabihin, yan yung mga families of circles natin na ng center ay nasa line. So, ibig sabihin, yung C natin na HK, that will be H is equals to K. Okay? So, yung from dito sa formula natin, that will be X minus H squared. Plus, dito, pwede natin tawagin na H na din siya. So, equals to 1. So, ito na yung tinatawag natin, general equation. Okay? Kasi na na satisfy na natin yung mga condition natin. So now, ilan ang arbitrary constant natin? H. Okay. So, lang, no? H lang. H lang, no? So H lang yung ating arbitrary constant. So ito, pwede natin itong i-expand lang, no? Paano ba ini-expand yung ganyan? Ano ba? X plus Y squared. Expansion niya yung X squared plus 2XY plus Y squared. Yan yung unang formula. O kaya, by FOIL method, no? Kung ano ba? X minus H times X minus H. FOIL method, ibig sabihin niya, first muna, no? Then, O is outer naman. Kung multiply mo, I, uh, inner no? tapos yung kanyang last yun yung, yung foil method pero ako ginagamit ko usually is ito okay? kaya ito pag in-expand natin oh, sorry pag in-expand natin to that will be x squared minus 2xh plus h squared plus ito yung expansion lang nun ah y squared minus 2hy plus h squared is equals to 1 Okay. And now, we can derive it once lang. No? Isang derivative lang. So, pag derive natin, this will be 2x, 2 minus 1 times 1, minus 2h times 1, x minus 1 by times 1, plus 0. Ito yung first 1 pa lang natin. Ito sa first part pa lang natin. Plus, y squared is 2y, y prime, minus 2h, y prime, plus 0 equals to 0. Okay? Simplify. We have 2x minus 2h plus so meron tayong 2y y prime minus 2h y prime equals to 0. Okay? So, all of these are divisible by 2. So, pwede natin i times ng 1 half or divide natin by 2. So, this will be x minus h plus y, y prime minus h, y prime is equals to 0. Okay? So, pwedeng combine nyo lang yung like terms. So, pwedeng transpose mo yung h. So, pag nilipat yung h, x plus y, y prime is equals to h plus h, y prime or x plus y, y prime plus to h1 plus y prime. Okay? Divide natin both side by 1 plus y prime. 1 plus y prime. Yung h natin will be equal to x plus y y prime all over 1 plus y prime. Okay? Kapag meron ka ng value ng h, isa-substitute mo lang yan dun sa equation mo, general equation mo. Okay? So, pwedeng itong, ano na lang, itong extended form na yung kunin natin. No? So, pakita lang natin. Ito yung value ng H. Okay. So, sa so substitute lang natin. So, X squared minus 2X x plus y, y prime all over 1 plus y prime plus x uh, plus y, y prime over 1 plus y prime squared plus y squared minus 2h uh, 2 times x plus y, y prime over 1 plus y prime y plus x plus y, y prime 
all over 1 plus y prime squared is equals to 1. So, simplify nyo na lang yan, pero this can be your answer na for this problem kasi na-eliminate mo na yung um, arbitrary constant mo and then you just have to simplify the given function. Okay? Makikita nyo wala na siyang arbitrary constant. So, a matter of simplification na lang siya. So, dito pwede mong pag-add in pa tong dalawang to, no? Para ma-simplify. Kasi itong 2y, pwede mong i-distribute. Itong 2x, pwede mong distribute. And then, pwede kunin mo yung common. So, madami pang step. Yes, Mr. Selig. Sir, sir, yan nga po ba yung pinag-substitutan po? Yan po yung general equation na in-expand na po? Yes, yung expanded form of general equation natin. Pwede din naman dito mismo, no? Hindi ko lang siya ilalagay. So, um, what is, uh, kung alin may meron sa choices, kung halimbawa multiple choice question siya. No? So, as long as ma-present mo yung differential equation. Pero sir, alam ba ba po yung pong hindi po expanded? Pagka-substitute po, okay na po ba yun na uh, yun yung sagot? Okay na lang din. Uh, pag sinapsitute mo yung value ng H, okay lang din. Okay? Kasi okay, ma matter of algebra na lang siya eh. Okay? Question pa dito? Pamis of curves. Sir, pati niya po yung last slide. Ito? Opo, sir. Okay. May kukopyahin lang po. Okay, pero ito naman ay pinapost ko no, sa Neo LMS. So you have copies of this, yung annotated form natin. Kaya... And then we have yung last part natin, yung solution of differential equation. So medyo madali lang to kasi papakita lang natin yung kung nag-equal ba yung solution do sa differential equation natin. Okay? So let's proceed na agad sa problem kasi we are almost time. Si din yung kasunod ng subject dun sa isang section. Ah, ba? Hindi ko alam. Pero may, may classy kay din. Okay? So dito, we have yung tinatawag nating solution or ibig sabihin yung function natin na y is equal to x. And then ito yung ating differential equation. Ngayon, check natin kung mag equal sila. No? So ang gagawin natin, yung solution natin, the uh, derive natin siya depende kung ilan yung elimination natin, ng arbitrary constant. So dito we have one arbitrary constant, so eliminate natin siya ng ones. Okay? So to get yung derivative niya, y prime is equal to c, e x, and then times 1. So yung y prime natin is equal to c, e x. Okay? And then, ito yung differential equation natin. Let's try to substitute yung values natin. Yung y prime natin, as we calculated, is CEX. And then, yung y natin, as given, is equal sa CEX. Is equal to 0. Pag tinignan natin to, this is also equal to 0. Therefore, therefore, yung ating solution, yung yx natin, is the solution for the differential equation y prime minus y is equal to zero. Okay? Kasi nasatisfy na yung condition natin dito. Okay? More on palang, parang proving siya. Okay? Next, halimbawa, ganun pa din. Iba lang yung function natin. So we have a ito yung ating solution, ang tawag, no? And then we have our differential equation. So, y is equal to negative cosine x plus c. So, kailangan natin yung derivative ng constant. So, that is zero. Derivative ng cosine is negative sine x dx. Okay? So, dito, this will be y prime is equal to negative Derivative ng cosine is negative sine x. Derivative ng x is 1 plus 0. Simplify, that is sine x. Okay? 
And as you can see, yung differential equation natin is also equal dun sa sine x. Therefore, yung y x natin is the solution for the differential equation y prime is equal to sine x. Okay? Then, last example. So, nagka meron lang siya ng ano, no? Tiyatawag natin initial value problem o meron lang siyang initial conditions, no? So, ibig sabihin ito, yung condition niya kapag y is, uh, kapag x ay equal sa 0, ang y daw ay 0. Kapag kinuha natin yung first derivative, yung x ay 0, ang y ay equal sa 1. Okay? So, ang differential equation natin dito is ito, syempre. Eh, kung alin yung may derivative, yun ang differential equation natin. And then, ito yung ating uh, function. Ano? So, kunin natin to So, y, x, is equal to c1, sine 2x, plus c2, cosine 2x. No? So, meron tayong dalawang arbitrary constant. So, derive natin siya ng twice. Okay? So, yung derivative natin, so, uh, so y is equal to sine x. Ang derivative ng sine i, cosine. Okay? The sine cosine x, derivative ng cosine i, negative sine x dx. Okay? So, dito, derive natin to. That is y prime is equal to c1. Then, magigitong cosine 2x. Then, derivative ng 2x is 2. Plus c2. Negative sine 2x times 2. Okay? So y prime natin is 2c1 cosine 2x minus 2c2 sine 2x. Okay? So yan yung first derivative natin. Ngayon, second derivative natin. So y double prime is equal to 2c1. Then derivative ng cosine is negative sine 2x times 2 minus 2c2. Derivative ng sine is cosine 2x times 2. Okay? Simplify. We have negative 4 c1 sine 2x minus 4 c2 cosine 2x. Okay? So, yun yung second equation natin. Pero ang pinapahanap is yung solution, no? So, kailangan kunin natin tong i-apply natin tong initial value problem natin. So, sabi dito... Yung ganyang, ganyang notation, ibig sabihin niyan, if x is equal to 0, ang y daw natin ay 0. No? So, ibig sabihin, sa natin i-substitute yan. Dito, no? So, first equation. So, uh, 0 is equal to c1 sine 2 times 0 plus c2 cosine 2 times 0. Okay? Eh, pag pinindot mo sa calcul, sine 0 ay equal sa 0. Ang cosine 0 ay equal sa 1. So, matitira mo na lang is 0 is equals to C2. So, yun yung unang value ng, ng arbitrary constant natin. Yung another initial value problem natin, so y prime daw is 0 is equals to 1. So, ibig sabihin niyan, if x is equals to 0, ang y prime daw natin ay equal sa 1. Yun yung ibig sabihin ng notation na yun. So, kung hanapin mo yung first derivative mo, ito yung first derivative mo. Okay? So, substitute mo lang. 1 is equal to 2. C1 cosine 0 minus 2C2 sine 0. 2, 0. So, again, this will be 0 na. And then, this will be 1. So, C1, uh, 1 is equal to 2C1 or C1 natin is 1 half. Okay? So, para makuha yung problem, substitute mo lang dito, y double prime, negative 4 times 1 half sine 2x minus 4 times 0 cosine 2x. So, this will be 0 na. So, yung y double prime natin is equal to negative 2 sine 2x. So, this will be our solution for the given problem. So, medyo fast 
space siya pero same concept pa din naman. Ah, nagkamero lang tayo ng initial val initial value. So ito nga yun, na isasubstitute mo lang dun sa mga nakuha mong derivative ng function para makuha mo yung solution na hinahanap dun sa problem which is ito. Which is free of um, arbitrary constant. Okay? Question? Sir, pwede pong pakibak ng slide. Screenshot ko lang po. Alin dyan? Yung kabila pong slide. Ah, ito. Okay na po, sir. Salamat. Okay. So, kung no more question, uh, this ends our lecture for today. So, about arbitrary constant and how we eliminate the arbitrary constant in applying sa families of curves and getting the solution for the differential equation. Or getting the differential equation from the solution. Okay? So, vice versa. Okay?